Hey, we're going to do some wrecking tonight, and I hope it, we get it done before the rain. So come on, let's get to it. Hey guys, it's Alan from Fish Fab, and tonight we're testing out that landscape that we made here just a little while back. Um, I did go ahead and have some new tines made because I'm not real happy with the angle on these, uh, and I'll show you why here in a minute. But um, I haven't had a chance to put them on. I, they just got them to me uh, today, so I. They're, we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow, pretty bad storm, so I'm going to try and get some of my yard raked up. I did put some fertilizer down, and I want to kind of get some of the trash raked up into piles. So um, we're going to go ahead and use what we got. And right now I've got it set. In case you're wondering why I'm backing instead of going forward, let me show okay, you. Okay, so here's the landscape rake we made. And uh, like I said, I've got some new ones come, new sprays cut or here. I just gotta get them installed. But uh, you'll notice whenever I grew, when I tighten the bolts down, see how far forward it kicked those springs. The problem with that is if I try and pull forward, because those springs are tilted so far forward, the rake wants to just hop and it kicks up trash and and throws it down there by the drawbar. So I had some new springs made that that will tilt back further, um, and then hopefully my, my hope is that I can use it in either pushing or pulling without having to take uh, the four bolts here out, drop the whole rake down, flip it around, and so I can reuse it use it the other direction so that's what our, our next plan is but like I say right now we got to get the job done so let's get after it Okay, we're going to take a walk. You can see the yard. Um, other than where I have to turn, it does a really good job. Look at all that thatching it picked up out of the yard. 
And if you just looked out through the yard, you'd never know that was there. Um, I don't know if you can really see where it does justice, but you can see where it's, it's leaving tine rows through. And there's where I didn't run, over here. So that's really doing a good job of opening up, getting some of that thatching grass out. And um, now I didn't run all over this, but it's doing a great job. I think um, other than the small twigs that turn sideways and go through the tines, it sure beats raking. So I'm pleased with this because it sure beats raking with a hand rake. And it's just really doing a nice job of dethatching the yard. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do, I'm going to do um, maybe tomorrow night when it's raining is I'll put those new tines on and get it set so that <clears throat> hopefully I can, I can run the rake forwards or backwards without having to unbolt the tines and flip them we'll see i would like to be I, i'm hoping that's the case i would love that um but we'll see but if nothing else i turn them around and and i dethatch my whole yard it, it really does a nice job uh dethatching I'm, I'm amazed it's like you know when you look at your yard all the years you mow i i've lived here since 1990 and it's uh, so 33 years now I've lived here, mowed it every week, three or four times a week sometimes. Um, and uh, you don't realize how much that grass just packs down, the rain drives it down, and, and it just builds up a layer of like a mat. And then it doesn't let those nutrients get down in there. So hopefully I'll dethatch this. And then, or get it all dethatched. And then before um, I roll my yard, I will just throw out some grass seed. I've got some thin areas. Um, I'll throw some grass seed out and I'm sure some of it will fall into the, the rows the tines make. And then we'll, we'll roll it in and let the rain take care of the rest. Rain and God take care of the rest. So until next time, thanks for watching. Please be sure and, and subscribe and like, and uh, we'll keep more stuff coming. I do have more projects coming. I'm just waiting for parts to arrive um, so we can get back on hot rod and start working on the light, uh, exterior lights for the enclosed trailer. So stay tuned again, make sure you subscribe so you get those notifications when we come out with the new videos. Thanks for watching.